Let's make a start. I think it's just chapter four. I'm just asking you to do it. So, for F today, so we're just looking at some more complex rules for integration. Um, we're integrating the function f of ax plus b. So I've got a list of rules at the top there. Um, I won't write them up here, I'll just refer to them. But here is our first one. We have find the integral of 2x taken 3 to the power of 5. Are we doing 4g as well, Scott? Uh, no. no. Just f. Yeah. So what we're going to do here um, we recognise it's the same as the second one we've got there. We've got ax plus b to the power of n. Um, so actually I might write this rule up as I'm doing it, just so you can see the relation. Okay, so the integral of ax plus b to the power of n is 1 on a, n plus 1, divided by n plus 1, and plus c. Alright? So in this case, A is 2, so it's going to equal 1 on 2, and then we have times AX plus B to the power of N plus 1, so we're going to have 6 up here, 5 plus 1 is 6, and then divided by 5 plus 1 is 6, and then plus C. And we'll simplify that. Okay, any questions about A there? Okay, so for B, we're finding the integral of 3 sine 5 take 2x. Okay? Now, I think what might be helpful first is just to go that 3, that can sit right out the front. So that there we're just considering um, the sine of AX plus B and the integral of sine of AX plus B is 1 on minus 1 on a cos of ax plus b plus c. So that 3 is going to stay there and we have times by minus 1 on top of a. Now a is minus 2 and then cos of ax plus b. Here it's written as 5 take 2x, that's fine. And then plus c. Okay, and again, one foolproof way that you can check if you've got the right answer is if we derive this, this is what we're going to get. We integrate this, this is what we're going to get. What? What? Oh. Never mind. Never mind. I, 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 said, I, said, I said, wow. Wow. I realized that was going to be confusing. Sorry, sir. E to the power of 7x take 1. Off you go here. So here we've got the integral of um, e to the ax plus b. Yep. And so that will be uh, 1 on a e to the ax plus b plus c. That says 7x take 1. Got A, B, B, C. And so again, that 0.5 can just hang out the front. And so we've got 0.5 times by. And the integral of E to the H plus B is 1 on top of A. So we've got 1 on top of 7. And then E to the AX plus B. And then plus C. And if we were to simplify this, 0.5 we can write as half. So we've got half times 1 on 7, that's 1 on 14. Okay, so just those, um, just takes it a bit further. That's the exercise. Nice. Nice. Yep. Cheese, man. Yeah.
Let's get it done. <laughs> what are we going to trade clutter in this time? Oh, uh, yeah, that's, that's going to be a good one. Sorry? That's, that's a great idea. Please, just give me a great idea. Cheese, fucker. Okay.